It looks like our boy YSL Woody got to take a break from doing 20v1s and interviews and TikTok skits. And he got to get back to the streets, man. All right. He got a new op that's loaded. Now, the new op that's loaded, who apparently won't smoke with YSL Woody, is a man by the name of YSL Mondo. Now, if you guys don't know, YSL Mondo is somebody who has been credited as being the co-founder or founder of YSL along with Young Thug. This founder of YSL who lives in the Atlanta area, is he charged on this indictment? He is not. Was that your decision? I did not draft the indictment. Was it, to your knowledge, the district attorney's office under Fonnie Willis who drafted this indictment? Objection or relevance? Was it the district attorney's office that drafted this indictment? Um, to the extent that I can testify about the district attorney's office's business, I believe it was. YSL Mondo was never charged and included in a YSL RICO, even though they think of him as a co-founder. And the reason why is what the lawyer was trying to get to. That's because Fannie Willis, when she was a defense attorney, represented YSL Mondo in a separate case. So it would have been like a conflict of interest to include him in like the YSL RICO when you were his attorney at some point, you were privy to information that, you know, is attorney client privilege, right? So of course, you know, she couldn't charge him. Even though YSL Mondo got a big break by not being included in this case, he's not acting like it. You see, if you feel blessed enough to not be included in a RICO, I feel like the smartest thing to do is probably just to go away and not even insert yourself in any business relating to this case. But YSL Mondo can't help himself, right? He is consistently speaking on this case and attacking different co-defendants or defendants on this case. As one of the founding members of YSL, you are saying that Gunner snitched. It, it, didn't everybody say, got the same ears I got? <laughs> Unless you were deaf and blind. You took a plea saying that you, you, my, you the main artist, brother. You the main artist, my brother. You capped down to my son. But you know this, you know this a game, and on top of that, you got caught with something and it wasn't yours. So who else was it? What real? Who doing shit like that? Who doing that? Hey boy, you didn't have nothing. Your shit gonna get dropped, brother. You know that, bro. What the hell? You panic? Now that's the when I need to bring back the panic word. You panic, brother. You panic, man. Mondo was going from platform to platform, calling Gunna a snitch for taking a plea deal in the YSL Rico, even though he wasn't a part of it, right? Yo, he was literally going from platform to platform calling Gunna a snitch. Literally any platform you can name, he was there calling Gunna a snitch. Well, fast forward, Gunna, you know, has defeated the snitch rumors. He maintained the number one album, had a number one song in the country, and he's more successful than ever. So it looks like YSL Mondo is changing his tone on Gunna, and in the process of changing his tone on Gunna, he now decided he was going to throw YSL Woody under the bus, which led to YSL Woody bringing him to smoke and static and giving him a severe warning to keep his name out of his mouth. He starts off by saying, I'm man enough to say I should have never spoke about the gunner situation because technically he didn't write. He just kind of folded under pressure and should have just stayed down with his man till everything was over because all the originals know he ain't did nothing wasn't even around from the beginning, so he wasn't going to do no real time regardless. I feel bad because now a ninja who literally is a real-life rat running around the city getting glorified and smiling like he ain't just sent multiple ninjas to jail. I was so mad and hurt at the same time. Now, that person he's talking about is Woody. Now, he didn't stop there. He continued. He goes on to say, no funny-ish. I'm glad Gunna out here put in the brand slash label on his back it was a good thing he took a plea because at the end of the day he never took the stand and testify huh yo you see what money will make a ninja do <laughs> gunner was a rat when when like they thought it was over for gunner right gunner you know still sean got more success oh and now bro it's a good thing gunner took the, <laughs> gunner took the plea stop it all right and testify what made sense for him which turned out good Cause bro out here putting up numbers musically. He got to keep the label going while twin gone. Cause these major labels scared to let me in the dough. I've been blackballed damn near. I also have to blame myself for being too heavy industry. Bro, stop it. 
The only person blackballing YSL Mondo is YSL Mondo himself. Literally is his music. I've never heard a soul in the street say, yo, bro, that new Mondo just dropped, bro. Put it on the aux and bump that joint. It never took place. Mondo needs to drop better music. You know, before you start worrying about labels, blackball. Bro, no label is about to invest a million, 500,000, 100,000 into YSL Mondo music, bro, for obvious reason. Because nobody listening. That's why. It's not, yo, it's not they hating, they blackballing, bro. It's nobody is listening to YSL Mondo in 2024. And it looks like, it, it appears from my perspective, right, they're all now trying to ride the Gunner bandwagon and hop on board now. Because Gunner defeated the snitching accusations, right? They realized that nobody cares about snitching, right? And that Gunner ain't do nothing egregious to where everybody else would say, bro, I can't rock with him no more because he ain't take the stand. He ain't technically snitched. He just took a plea, right? So because now Gunner is having more success, oh, now they're trying to come back and feed off Gunner, right? Now you see like Young Thugs Pops is in a Gunner music video, rocking with Gunner now. So now they're trying to hop on board. Now it's too late, bro. Gunner ain't rocking with y'all. Sorry. Stand. And testify and blow up onto my own radio station, get his new song played. That's ass music is what well, some days. If you don't know what that means, this shit is weak. Come on, man. Man did multiple interviews, man. That man's a real live informant, man. Come on, man. But y'all don't understand that he the reason why this shit started. Y'all don't try to tell y'all. I'm not picking size here, bro. But when you really look at this and listen carefully. And you hear Mondo bring up Woody's song being played on the radio and Woody being booked for interviews. It sounds like hatred. It sounds like jealousy, right? It sounds like Mondo, you know, who's somebody who's been trying to rap and get it shaken out for a while, is upset and mad, right? It feels slighted. It feels like, yo, he deserves that shine, not Woody, right? And that's the mistake that street dudes make, bro. They be like, man, bro, yo, bro, like, yo, the fake niggas always winning, bro. Yo, when y'all gonna let the real niggas in? Bro. Nobody trying to hear the real ones rap, right? Like, usually the real ones, you know, don't really got no talent, you know, can't really rap. They're not really entertaining. Nobody trying to hear from the real ones, right? And you would even hear him say on this live that, like, when y'all going to give us some flowers, right? When y'all going to give us our flowers, man, we... So all of this, it seems like jealousy. It seems like Mondo you know, once in on the pie. And he feels like he deserves it because apparently he feels like he's like, you know, he's a solid gangster and Woody's a snitch. So Woody don't deserve the shot he's getting. It should go to him. It's so long putting in so much blood, sweat and tear. And it feel like we not getting our flowers. We not getting our recognition. We not getting the shit that we supposed to be getting. But you got niggas like Buddy really went on stand and blew up off of testifying. <laughs> Like, what is the world coming to, brother? Like, what did this shit come to? For real, man. Why Sizzle, what's up, my dog? Nah, for real, my brother. Like, what the world? You got niggas who been in the game doing this shit for so long, bro. Putting in so much behind this shit. We ain't getting our flowers, bro. We ain't getting no... But you got a nigga who come do... Bro, this nigga did a mother... This nigga went on stand, my brother. All that before the stand shit. Home was farming for years. First of all, it's hilarious and fun seeing street dudes cry, right? Trying to convince us to care about what they care about, bro. Listen, we don't care about your morals and principles, bro. Like, nobody is ostracizing anybody for snitching and taking a stand, bro. We don't care. And Woody, you know, isn't a star right now, or, or he's not getting paid for interviews, and, you know, he's not doing 20v1s. Because he took the stand solely, right? No, it's because Woody is charming and has a personality. There's a bunch of other dudes who took the stand during the YSL trial, and they're not getting booked. They're not doing 20 v ones. They're not resonating as much as Woody. Is Woody's personality, right? His charisma, which is why Woody right now is doing what he's doing, right? So when you know, so like when they say, "Yo, damn, yo, yo, like we're not getting our flowers, man, bro. You're not getting your flowers because like, yo, your music ain't hitting." Your personality ain't hitting. Like, bro, y'all around Gunna and Young Thug. You around Gunna and Young Thug all day, 24-7. If you ain't blow up when they was pushing y'all, like, bro, like what are you like what are you like what are you asking for? Like, what exactly are you asking for? 
So all of this, bro, is just hatred. Yo, yo, which is why, yo, uh, bro, I tell everybody I know, bro, stay away from street dudes, bro. Like, yo, street dudes are the most envious dudes on the planet. Bro, just stay away, bro. Yo, bro, can you imagine, yo, like being Woody, bro, and like, and having success, right? Because, yo, make no mistake about it. YSL Mondo and other street dudes, bro, would it be speaking about Woody this eagerly if Woody wasn't a star? It's because he's a star, now they're trying to tear him back down, bro. Yo, stay away from street dudes, right? Now, Woody will respond back to YSL Mondo. Now, I'll be real, bro. Uh, listen, if I had to guess, bro, this beef is going to send somebody back to jail. This beef is 100% going to send somebody back to jail. All right? The way Woody is speaking, talking about, bro, oh, you know, I'm outside. I'm going to do it to one of y'all. As if Woody right now don't got eyes and attention on him, bro, by, by the DA and the prosecutors. All right? He speaks like he a free man who's not on surveillance or watch. Too much. Don't make me get on any type of time, boy. And look where he at, where I'm at. I'm outside here in the house. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he need to be so irrelevant, man. He want that some days of fame. He gonna get it. He be playing with me all the time. I suggest that. I'm watching, boy. Let me get a five Let me be the boy. <laughs> Let me be the boy. Y'all get that nigga an interview. Give him about 2,000 interview, man. He need it right now. And when Mondo was asked about boxing, why is Woody? He said he ain't doing no fighting. Meaning he's up in the blick when he see Woody. So... Listen, I can almost guarantee, bro, this beef is going to send somebody to jail. Rather, it's Woody or it's Mondo. One of these fools is going back to jail. Atlanta is a very small place, and they both apparently are outside in Atlanta, all right? They're going to jail. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. What do you guys think about this, all right? Who do you guys think is in the wrong, Mondo or Woody? If you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out the four biggest mistakes the killers of Julio Fulio made that got them caught. I'm going to see you guys in this video, right? I'm out of here, folks. Please.